The biggest problem with the Apple M1 Mac is Apple. What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the Granite Geek Show where we cover your favorite tech and video games. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the M1 Max and their lack of eGPU support, but there's good news. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Before we dive into it, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so that you don't miss an episode as we cover your favorite tech and video games. It's the Granite Geek Show. So I got the M1 Mac Mini just a couple days ago. I've been running my tests and stuff, uh, preparing a video for you guys on my thoughts, but I had to stop and I had to mention this. This thing is truly unprecedented in power at this price point. I mean, it's industry changing. This is the first time in a long time that Apple has significantly lowered the point of entry as far as price for people to get into professional work and devices capable of doing professional work. Um, but this is a huge step. All the M1 Macs, I'm sure you've seen the videos, are just doing crazy numbers, right? But there's one thing holding the Mac Mini back as, as I'm doing my tests and things. Um, and don't get me wrong, the graphics card on it is no slouch. It's twice as powerful as what was in my 2016 MacBook Pro, but it's not the best thing in the world. Okay, so I knew this when I bought the machine, right? That there was no support for eGPUs. And it was seemingly arbitrary and this article from apple insider says exactly that and this is why it's a good thing okay so this article by malcolm owens on apple insider says apple silicon m1 detection of thunderbolt 3 egpu gives hope for future support now of course i'll leave a link to the article down below and you really should check it out to get more detail but the gist of the article is that these macs are detecting the eGPUs. So this isn't due to the new architecture, they just don't speak correctly. No, the Apple M1 line of Macs, the Mac Mini, the MacBook Pro, and the MacBook Air, they recognize fully what the eGPU is, but there's just something limiting them. But what this does mean, and this is the reason why I, I'm gonna keep the M1 Mac Mini, um, the move from Intel is a final one, so if you have an Intel Mac, eventually you're gonna end up with an M series chip anyway if you want to stay with apple so you might as well get it over with but this is what i'm saying because the mac already knows what it is and it's not something where they have to reinvent the wheel it's only a matter of time before somebody finds some way to enable the use of third-party gpus that's kind of what i'm hoping for i hadn't seen anything like this on youtube any videos discussing uh apple is shooting itself in the foot or really the customers because I understand it would totally cannibalize the iMac Pro and a lot of their higher end machines if you could get a Mac Mini for $7.99 and then pick your favorite flavor of eGPU and basically have the same performance of an iMac, higher end MacBook Pro, and even some of the Mac Pros. But at the same time, to just dangle the carrot in front of your customers, um, giving them just a taste of power, but not giving them enough to take it really to the next level. Come on, Apple. Now, what I do think will end up happening is that they will enable eGPU support, but it'll be on some sort of M1X variant of the chip. The X chip will end up being in the higher end MacBook Pros, the 16 inches and above, and then the iMac and then maybe even the Mac Pro if they refresh it uh, without Intel chips. But it does give us hope. I mean, it's recognized in the system, it just has to be told to use it. So for anybody who ran out and got one of the new M1 Macs, um, just hold tight. If you got the eGPU, See, I was rocking a Sonnet breakaway box and inside of here is a Radeon RX 580. So if you got one of these, I wouldn't sell it quite yet. Uh, you might be happy with some of the developments coming down the road. So let me know if you're in this kind of situation, basically turning your eGPU into a paperweight. Let me know down in the comments below. Also, like the video if you're liking the video. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you can stay up to date when I do drop my full review of the Mac Mini, guys. In the meantime, check out all the awesome content we have on the channel. And if you're into movies and TV shows, I have a sister channel, We Sibs, where I cover awesome movies and TV shows. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you in the next one.